Hello friends, Debbie here with Debbie Gets Crafty and today we're going to be working on another of our Snow White stickers. Today we'll be working on the apple tree and so let's get started. Let me pull this back. There we go and let me go ahead. I'm just going to put a release sheet down there we go perfect okay now I can put my arm here and do whatever I have to do all right and how are you all doing today I hope you're doing wonderfully I uh, listen friends every chance I get to spend a little time with you I mark it in the wind column because you make me happy and having this time to visit means everything to me so let's get started. All right, now I have my plate of wax and I'm just gonna go ahead and put some wax on my pen. There we go, perfect. Okay, so let's start out with number three, which is the green. I believe that's number three. Let me take a look. Actually, it looks like number 13. Yeah, that's number 13. My apologies. I'm working on a an angle here, so I didn't see that. But we have number 13, and that's the one we'll work on today. So far, that'll be our beginning, because I want to try to work on this and get this all done. We'll start out right there like that. I'll set that aside, and we'll get started. And friends, this kit that I'm working with, the wax, the boat, and the pen are all items that came with the kit. So these are items that you can use to diamond paint this picture. There we go. Now the only addition that I added was I happen to have this red scrunchie that I put on my pen and it just makes it a little more easy, a little more comfortable to to use the pen. Now again friends I know I've said this before but I am working on a little bit of an angle here so um, you know if the drills don't look like they're sitting straight I will fix them I promise. As a matter of fact let me just go ahead and bring it in a little bit. There you go and let's see if we can try to work on that glare. That's a little bit better. Okay so I hope you all are doing well. I am doing very well. I got an interesting, I'm on Facebook and I got a very interesting message the other day, a private message from a couple of ladies who asked me if my husband and I were the people who adopted uh, a dog, a specific dog from this particular rescue that we went through because each of these ladies adopted his sisters. They adopted the girl dogs. There were three dogs in this litter, uh, three dogs that were that were rescued by this particular rescue organization. And it was uh, two sisters and a brother. And as a matter of fact, yes, it was Todd and I were the folks that uh, that rescued Spoto. And um, so I responded, yes, that's, that's us. And they were so excited to hear from us and to get a response because these two ladies have kept in touch and they wanted to know if my husband and I wanted to stay in touch, you know, and perhaps maybe bring Spoto out for a play date with his sisters, which is a great idea. We were really looking forward to setting something up. So they mentioned that they had, they both had their dog's DNA done because as their dog, as each of their little girl dogs were getting older, they noticed um, that it, it, it was almost like there we were told when we adopted our dogs that they were part um, border collie and part Jack Russell Terrier mix and but 
when you saw them, you could tell that they didn't look so much Border Collie, Boston, uh, Jack Russell Terrier mix. They had a little bit more of a an American Pit Bull Terrier to them. And so um, I guess these two other ladies decided to have their dog's DNA test done. And they asked if we were interested in finding out the results, if we had done it ourselves, and if they, if we didn't, if we were interested in the results. So Todd and I had not had it done yet. And we were very much interested in the results. Well, friends, it comes out that these three dogs are about 38% American Pit Bull Terrier. And then there's quite a bit of mixture in there. They've got some Bulldog in them. They've got all kinds of, you know, different uh, mixes in them. But the dominating DNA is the American Pit Bull Terrier, which doesn't matter to us. He's to us. He's our Spoto. So, but it does answer a lot of questions and it does give us a bit of clarity. And now we can do research on, you know, the proper breed and, and stuff to make sure that he's as happy and healthy as he can be. And, um, you know, I wrote back, I said, yeah, we kind of figured that, but these, uh, these other dogs, they're so sweet. The one, the one dog I think must be Spoto's twin because she, like Spoto, is very high energy, very stubborn, very strong and muscular. As a matter of fact, I think she weighs, she might weigh just as much, if not maybe a little more than, than Spoto. And, um, and the other, the other little girl, she is a sweetheart. She is actually either deaf or hard of hearing. Um, and she's got a little bit of an issue with her eyes. She's not blind, but she's got a little bit of an issue with her eyes. But she is a little sweetheart. And um, she was she was what you would consider the runt of the group. But uh, evidently she's just a little doll. And so it's nice. We've connected with them. We've exchanged pictures and stuff. So it's really been sweet. And hopefully, you know, at some point in time soon, we'll be able to get together with them. And Spoto can, you know, meet and play with his his sisters. That would be really neat. And we are working on trying to get him into a some type of an, a trainer, a trainer or obedience school because he really is very stubborn. So we really do need to work on that. Um, and they are, you know, pit bulls can be very stubborn. And so we want to make sure that he gets the proper training so he's, you know, safe and he's good and we're safe and we're good and anybody who comes in contact with him is safe and good because we want the world to know that he is a little love and not to follow the stigma of a pit bull. My husband said, you know, I don't know why the person who surrendered them said that they were that he they were these other breeds when they clearly weren't. As a matter of fact, neither one of the breeds that he said even showed up on the DNA test. He said, I don't know why he would have said that. And I said, well, you know, people say things out of desperation. He probably thought they wouldn't be taken in if if anybody knew that they were who they were. But that being said, and he even said to me that had we known when we were looking at his picture, we may have reconsidered. He said, but we didn't. He's ours. We love him. And there's a reason why he's in our lives. And we couldn't be happier for it. He is just our little sunshine. So that is what's going on with Spoto. He is getting to be a big puppy dog, not big in, in like size. He's still, um, I guess I would consider him a medium size. So he's still a good size. He's a, I wanted a, a small dog. 
he's a little bit bigger than than what I wanted but I mean he's gonna grow to the you know to wherever he's gonna grow to and that'll be it um, which is you know okay but so far he seems to have slowed down a little bit with his growth and he's still so full of energy from sun up to sundown but that's okay that gets us outside we've been outside more and I'm not gonna say exercise more but we have been moved we have moved around more than we have in a long time and we owe that all to our little spoto and like my husband says it doesn't matter what a DNA a DNA test says his breed is his breed is he's a spoto and he's our spoto and that's all there is to it and if you ever have a chance and are lucky enough to be able to rescue an animal please do because your heart will thank you they rescue you more than you rescue them for sure this is coming together nicely so we're filling in the green I have a little treat that I'm going to do a little treatment I should say that I'm going to, to apply to this sticker this particular sticker add a few more green drills there we go give that a little shaky shake there and keep on keeping on so yeah that was oops. so that was our surprise for the week it was really nice to hear from these ladies they're sweet sweet girls and uh, their their doggies are so cute um, the one doggie's name is Marnie and the other doggie's name is Sunny and they are just the sweetest little you could tell they're all siblings you could tell they are just all siblings and they're just little love bugs and I can't hardly wait till we have the chance to meet them but like I said, you know, we want to we want Spoto to be exposed to some training first because it's just been taught in myself since we've gotten him. And uh you know, we need to uh, expose him to other situations and in a safe manner. So it's not like when we got Liberty we already had Jack, our black lab at the time, so she was pretty much used to another dog. But it's been so long, you know, it's been three months since Spoto's had a companion. So we want to go about it the right way and acclimate him in a safe way. So this way when he sees his sisters again, it'll be a great reunion. One that will hopefully carry on to many more there we go we finished our number 13 the beautiful green oh I see number three is a brownish okay well that makes sense then okay so we'll go ahead and pour our green back into the bucket there we go close that and you know what I think we will move on to number three get that out of the way there we go and it's right here so we'll open this up, pour a few drills out, that's plenty, set that aside, and give it a little shake shake. There we go. Other than that, that's about as exciting as it's been for us. Now not all of these are number three, so I've got to pay attention to this. But we've been introducing some new toys to Spoto. It's always good, especially when they're a puppy, and when because he he gets bored very easily. And when he gets bored, that's when he starts to get a little nippy. And so we've been introducing you know new toys to him and taking away certain toys 
and putting them away for a bit and then every so often we'll switch them out and it's like you know it's a brand new toy to him again so that seems to be doing really good and of course they have to be they have to be um, for aggressive chewers because he is a very aggressive chewer seems to be working out really well. He, he enjoys getting a new toy every so often. And we have a pretty good stockpile now that where we can switch them up on a fairly regular basis. So he's not bored. We've been very lucky. He doesn't chew on the furniture or tear up clothes he'll try to steal them but we will we are able to usually go ahead and go in and get them <laughs> fairly quickly so he hasn't uh, he hasn't destroyed anything like that which is good you have to really be on top of it you know on top of them to, and really be paying attention and we keep him in sight all the time but he's been good healthy as a horse there we go so that's that color so yes I just wanted to talk to you about that and give you the news I we thought it was really interesting as a matter of fact <laughs> the uh, lady sent me copies of the DNA test that each of them had for their dogs and uh, it was very interesting to see the um, variation uh, it's like one or two percent but they were all the same breeds but they they varied in the percentages by like one or two percent so Spoto I'm sure would be right up there with them so this is a little bit of a lighter green this is number seven so that number seven is peppered in throughout the tree so we'll go ahead and put in our number seven there we go whoops did I even no I did not okay there we are and it gives it some depth creates a little bit of an added extra so it's not all just a plain green whoops I keep forgetting to pick up drills that's not good there we go I'd like to take a moment to thank everybody for their support if you are currently a subscriber I thank you so much for your support, your continued support. If you've not yet subscribed, I ask that you consider subscribing and hit that bell notification. You'll be notified every time I upload a video. And also, please, friends, please don't forget to hit that like button uh, because, you know, it does really help the YouTube algorithm. And I've been saying this a lot, and I'm going to keep saying it. I'm just a little crafty fish in a great big crafty pond. So all of those thumbs up, they really do make a difference in helping my wee little channel grow. And that's really what I want to do. I want to, And I want to be able to create more content for my friends. And that helps out a great deal. And don't forget, you can leave me a comment, say hi. Tell me what you're working on. Tell me where you're from. And I will comment back for sure. I try to comment as quickly as I find them. Sometimes I'm unable to answer right away, but I try. And I do different things like the whips and chats and 
unbaggings and the occasional PR package that might come across my desk that's a uh, product review if I'm lucky enough for a company to reach out to me I'll do a product review for them and so and I just like to I like to craft and I like to visit so if that's something that you enjoy well join us there we go now we have two little spots two little drills that are number six and they're right close to the middle of the tree so let's just pop out a couple of the number six put that right there and then we're going to do a little something extra special here once i put number six away so this my friends is an apple tree and this is a very important part of the story of snow white because, of course, you know that the witch took one of the apples and poisoned it. And so, of course, we have our number our, uh, number 12, which is red. Well, we're going to give it a little extra special treatment today, friends. We're going to give it a little, give them a little bit of a, a sparkle. So I'm just going to take my little, there we go, rhinestones and pour some out. I think these are rhinestones that are all different shot, shapes, and they're not shapes, but different sizes. They may not be, they may be the same size. So I'm gonna take one out, and put one down. Oh yeah, that'll work. And I think they are different sizes, so we'll just try to get the ones that match the best. Oh goodness gracious, doesn't that bring a little bit of bling and pizzazz? Wow. That looks nice and I'll hold the picture up my friends once we're done and you'll see that sparkle that was that little bit of sparkle that's gonna be so neat there we go just want to make sure there we are and I've had these little uh rhinestones for a long time and I wanted to when I saw this picture this particular sticker with the uh, apples the apple tree I said I know exactly what I want to do for that here we go and we'll continue onward Oh, friends, this is really, really jazzing it up. So neat. There we go. We're almost done. That's why I saved this color for last, because I wanted to bring a little sparkle and pizzazz to it. There we go. Last one, my friends. Didn't that come out cute? Oh, I can't wait to show you. So we're going to pick it up. Look at that shine. Look at that sparkle. Wow. First of all, the sparkle from the drills themselves are really neat, but that sparkle with those rhinestones, friends, look at that. Oh my goodness. They came out so cute. There we go. And the whole sticker sparkles so pretty. Oh, that's neat. Okay. So that is that on that sticker. And we are done with that particular sticker. So next time I see you for this particular series, our Snow White series, we'll be working on the last one on this page, which is Snow White Dancing with Prince Charming. And I want to thank you so much, my friends, for visiting again and spending some time with me. And I hope you enjoyed our time together. And look at that. Even with the cover on it, they still sparkle so pretty. I want to thank you again so much. Until I see you all again, thank you so much. Please don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. God bless my friends. Take care now. Goodbye.